Hi, I'm Brandon. Today we're going to install Magento. It's a free e-commerce platform. Start by downloading the zip file, the latest version. And I'm using a Windows machine, so I'm using uh, WAMP, which is Windows Apache MySQL PHP. So I'm skipping the create account just to save some time. And you'll see that's started to download in my Chrome browser. So as we let that finish, we'll extract it. I think you guys want to do that. And when that's done, I go into my WAMP folder, the comp folder, and go into open the file httpd.conf. Scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see I have um, uncommented the include of the virtual host file. So make sure that's uncommented, then we'll go into that virtual host file. So in the extra folder, vhost. And you'll see I have, within the vhost tag, I have a uh, server set up as 127.0.0.4. The document root, that's where I extracted the Magento software. So, and you know how to change the Windows host file, hopefully. It's system32, drivers, etc. cetera, uh, within the Windows machine. And you'll see that 127.0.0.4 is set up there. So, I'm going to go into that. And since I do have the directory already extracted, we're good to go. So, like everything else you install, you have to accept the agreement. You have to continue. And if we just a couple basic things here, uh, select your time zone. Ah, you see the PHP extension curl is not uh, activated. So what you do if you go on the WAMP server, ser server, then go up to that curl and activate that. That will restart uh, WAMP. So you see it's orange there because it's uh, not activated fully yet. So that will get going in a little bit. So we open back up. Oh, it's green, so now we'll try again. All right, we made it to the next step. So this step actually wants us to choose the database, enter a username, and you can see if we just enter uh, a random username here, we're going to get a database there, well, uh, mostly because that database doesn't exist. So to do that, you go into WAMP, and you select PHP My Admin. This is where you administer databases, and what we're going to do is create a new database. So I'm on the database tab, I'm going to type a name here, Magento, makes sense, doesn't it? Create. So my database has been created. If you want to play around with the um, privileges, you can add users if you want to use a different name other than root. So we can create a username Magento here and type in a, a password that we see fit. And I'm just going to use root. We can continue. And we make it to the next step. It's thinking. It's thinking. All right, good. So now we can create the admin account. So we got past the configuration. Just type in my user information here. Continue. All right, so. You want to remember this encryption key. Um, you might need it in the future. Um, you can see we have a two, couple options to go forward here, the front end and the back end. I'm going to click the back end. You'll see our administration panel. So we'll log in with the user account we just created. Uh, it's telling me there's a new version out. Um, and you can see that in the, you have a dashboard, you have a sales tab, a catalog tab where you add your product your customers tab, promotions for marketing, a CMS, a content management solution for editing your about us page or your home page. So that's pretty much the setup. All the tables have been automatically created for us and you'll see that in PHP my admin if you go back there and if you go back to the front end you'll see that this is the Magento uh, home page.